Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon. Icon. <laughs> so you know when my new videos come out. That was a little weird. Not going to edit it. Just going to push on. So. I know I've been slow on videos coming out. I was, <laughs> I had a horrible cold, and then right as I thought I kicked it, I got a worse cold. It's been a real crap couple of weeks. But, feeling so much better right now. I've got so much exciting stuff going on and coming up. I can't tell you about it yet, but I've got a huge announcement coming, just a few weeks. I'm very excited. I hope you'll be excited for me too. But, it's not time for that yet. This is a video I'm very excited about. What I probably built the title around this, so you know what's coming. I recently acquired one of these Sigma metal testers. You'll see these in coin shops. That's how they test the purity of uh, you know, gold coins, uh, silver coins, all, t all types of different uh, percentages of precious metals. And I'll just tell you straight up, first up, I love it. I would have no hesitation in suggesting this to anyone. Uh, it's pricey, but uh, it doesn't damage the coins to test it. They have lower end ones where you have to like take a scratch of the coin, but no, you don't want to do that. So this is over 1200 bucks. I acquired it because I am in the process of doing a very large appraisal slash uh, selling on consignment job right now. So. It was needed. There's a goodly amount of gold in this and just a ton of silver. So I'm going to show you a few of the gold pieces in this video. Basically, what I'm going to do is walk you through, you know, just the basic settings, basically how it works, and a few little little tricks and hints that I found out almost a little too late. All right, so I'm going to change this so you can see the top of the machine, and let's do it. Okay, so I'm just going to showing you the business end of the machine here. Turn the power on. Okay. Push, run, calibrate to start. The first coin I'm going to look at is a South African Krugerrand. So it actually has a setting specifically for uh, Gold American Eagles and Krugerrands. So you hit the run and calibrate button. And even though it's in a flip, yep, look at that, right dead center. So basically the way this works is you set it to the type of metal that you're expecting and that you're wanting it to verify. And then if it's in the brackets, you're bang on. But there are small things that can uh, skew the result. Actually, even the temperature of the coin, if it's too cold or if it's warmed up from being like in someone's hand for a while, it can knock you one or two out to the side. You're not really in super trouble unless you see an arrow. So I'm telling this thing, I'm expecting a gold Krugerrand. I put a peso on there, bam, arrow. You can test both sides. You see, oh, it was out a little bit, then it's like, oh wait, no, I know that. You move it around and it can change. Also, I guess embossing also is an issue. It has trouble with that. But this is a beautiful coin. This is 77. I believe I just sold this. So, yes, I did. So I won't do anything more with that. And hit the run, calibrate, and move back to Gold American Eagle. And here I have a quarter ounce Gold American Eagle. Once again, in a flip. See, it got a bad read there. So sometimes you gotta move it around. There we go. See, just because you know, it gives a bad reading at first, it does not mean it's fake. Like, it will hit an arrow and stay at an arrow if it's fake. If it's jumping all around, it just needs to be moved into the sweet spot there. 
that. There you go. Now, I get my glove out here. This is coming to where I first had an issue. Going through all of these coins, and these were from someone who just collected for years and years. Started uh, back in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, I believe. So this was someone's inheritance. Lucky them. And I put the one-tenth gold eagles and the one-tenth uh, Krugerrands, and it looked at first, look at that, straight up arrow no matter what I did. And like, oh no, that poor, poor guy, you know, had gotten taken years ago and we have no idea who it was that did that. And I'm thinking about it and I'm like, it just did not seem right. There was one coin that looked a little fishy when I was looking through, mushy, but so many of them looked so right on. I was confused what was going on. So yeah, we were, you know, just crestfallen that there were all these fake one-tenth ounce gold pieces. But like I said, there are so many that just looked so good that I just kept thinking about it, couldn't get it out of my head. Uh, someone was gonna use them, the fakes for like jewelry and stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute, nah, let's, let's take another look at those. And I start doing more research and reading the manual again. And it turns out that it comes with two wands. I thought it only came with one for thicker specimens like bars and stuff like that. But it also comes with this wand which is for thinner, thinner metal. So apparently, if you're using the top, you don't want anything too big, too heavy, uh, and so the sweet spot's gonna be right in the middle of a standard coin. But with a 1 10th ounce gold piece, that sweet spot, it's not gonna be in the right spot. So, look at that. You use the little wand on the small piece, and it is indeed real. So that was, <laughs> wow, a potential great loss of money in this collection that luckily, thanks to this machine, we were able to catch, if not the first time, then the second time. So what I'm saying is, and this machine is a lifesaver, I love it. I've done some silver on it as well. All right, let me see, I've got something right here. Uh, you push down to go to silver, then you go through here. I have something that is sterling. So let's just check that. Here is a beautiful, oh, I'm gonna take the wand off so I can use the top there. You can see the, the light went from wand to the center. So, run, calibrate. Oh, it's not an American Eagle. What happened? There we go. There you go. You recognize this coin? It is a, this one is a 1980 Mexican Onza, and it's sterling silver. This is not pure silver. This is sterling silver, but it's a larger coin, so it comes out to one ounce of pure. So there we go. Very, very cool. And like I said, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm helping them sell. You know, I'm taking a commission, but I'm trying to get them the absolute most money I can out of their collection. So <clears throat> I'm always looking for interested buyers. A lot of these coins, I got to tell you, I've set some aside that I'm going to send in to be graded just to try to get them eventually more money out of them because they have some perfect BU examples. These are going to be... MS67, at least, I would say. At least. Some gorgeous coins in here. So, if you are in the market for some gold, why don't you just drop me an email at pennyhavenplus at gmail.com. Let me know what you're looking for. Got fractional, got whole ounces, uh, eagles, Krugerrands, sovereigns, one of my favorite. Let me just show you a sovereign too. The sovereign, you put it on the 91.7, the balance copper. It's asking me to place the sample. There we go. I feel like
feel like sovereigns are far more interesting to people who are interested in numismatic coins rather than just the gold. Because like I said, this is 91.7% gold with the remainder copper. These are all George V examples. As you can see, there it is. Beautiful. And that coin is gorgeous. And this man who started this collection, you know, to pass down, he was a meticulous note taker. So there are all these pieces of paper that show what he bought and how much he paid and when. And he bought when gold was like three ninety five or five hundred dollars an ounce. So he stacked up on gold at just the right time. And now his his ancestors, his kids and grandkids are getting to enjoy the fruits of his labor. And they were kind enough to bring me along on this, let me do the all the footwork. And it is a lot of work, even though I enjoy every second and I'm getting compensated uh, very fairly from them. I Basically, they saw what they were going to get at a coin shop and I said, I will do less than half of that for you and I will get you more money. So. There we go. All right, so that's going to be the end of it for today. Like I said, drop me a line if you're interested in picking up a piece of gold. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Thank you, channel members. Thank you, Patreon supporters. Time to get on out of here. Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.